Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues playing as Kaiser's Legion. I <clears throat> took a break to eat some lunch and apparently eating a PB&J is a terrible idea because it is making me need to cough terribly but we're going to try to get through this anyway. Alright, we finished off whoever those guys were that we killed. I don't remember anymore. We're getting ready to gear up for war against Two Sun, which I actually think was absolutely the right choice to attack first. I got a reasonable number of factories, you know? Not much in the way of population, though. Holy crud! The fact that you can exist uh, with a nation with only 600 people is amazing. Compare that with the uh, California Republic, though, and they can have up to 31,000. Which is kind of impressive compared to my 12.3 right now. So they absolutely are the uh, military powerhouse. I have no idea what the capital fund does. This looks fun. Huh. Anyway, yeah, anyway. All right, so let's gear for war. Try to get our production going. We are still producing a few more units. I'm only going to do one more for now, and then we kind of want to reevaluate. Now, what is this? Wait, you can have multiple... How do you have multiple explosive support? That's interesting. Isn't it? Can I do that with my other units? Is that a thing I can do? No. Ooh. So the Siege Division is unique in that it actually gets extra explosives. Well, that's kind of cool. Praetorian Guard, Spec Ops. We'll do a quick comparison with these guys here. So I'm looking at Defense and Breakthrough and so on. Much better Breakthrough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, comparable Soft Attack and Hard Attack. Less Supply Usage. Um, your Organization, it doesn't really show. <clears throat> I would be inclined to think these have better Organization. Better HP. Huh. Seems to me that Spec Ops, just in general, are better. <coughs> and we can have up to 20 divisions of Spec Ops. Sorry, 20 more divisions of Spec Ops. I could at least make these guys 10 combat width, and then throw in maybe some explosive support. And that would make these guys better. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think we have the logistics really to support it right now. Missing a lot of equipment. We're going to go ahead and say that we want a lot more basic melee weapons and a lot more explosives in the form of dynamite. <clears throat> but, for now, I think it'll do the job. Bubble up to speed 5. i got to be careful not to hit the minus symbol to slow down because I've recently made that my record button so I can record the Minecraft series. Because F9 messed with a few things. Which is what I usually used. So, uh, I've had a couple of times when I was recording like CK2 and stuff. And I instinctively hit the slowdown button and uh, stopped my recording and realized it way too late. <clears throat> Good God. Peanut butter, why? It's destroying me. All right, let's see. So we're going to get to 150 political power, then what do I want? Maybe a division attack or something. Material designer. <clears throat> I mean... Weapons and equipment research time is not a bad idea. <sighs> Can't quite do any mobilization that I care about. <clears throat> Though maybe we could move toward partial mobilization if I go to war. That actually would be worth saving some um, political power for, is to try and change up my recruitable population and my economy. Get away from civilian mobilization, or a civilian economy. War economy we can't do until there's war, uh, more world tension, which we're not anywhere close to. So this is the best I could do at the moment. By Kaisar's will. Uh, got a few more troops to work with. We are going to send them to... I don't know. The Navajo, I guess, for now. Probably. Uh, I need to take you guys, since you're all green. And we are going to have you guys all train for a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do some exercises. And then uh, gradually reintroduce them where they belong. I just don't want to have any extra losses because my people aren't ready to fight. I think that makes the most sense. Alright, we have our tribal huts. Which, I don't think I have to build. It just straight up means extra monthly population. Not by much, but it might help eventually. Resource gain efficiency I'm not in the need of right now. <laughs> um, extra efficiency base could be nice. Recruitable population factor could be nice. 
Reinforce rate, yeah. Could start making uh, progress on a doctrine. Supply grace could be kind of nice, you know? Robotics. Do I want to start working toward robotics? Not yet. I don't have the production to support it. We aren't really using any uh, motorized yet. Uh, recon companies are generally something I would want. There's a lot of special support companies here. Laser rifles and stuff. I don't even know what's involved in making these. Like, what the heck does a mongrel do? So it requires a bit of extra manpower. <clears throat> a lot of suppression bonus. That appears to be mostly it. I mean, there's a little bit of breakthrough. So, radiated dogs spend water. Get dogs that have extra soft attack and breakthrough. <clears throat> Compare that with the pipe machine guns. There's actually a pretty good amount of stuff to be had. A lot more soft attack there. This will be piercing and heart attack. Breakthrough. Good amount of piercing and heart attack from here, too. Wow. Fire geckos. Just straight up breakthrough and soft attack. I mean, hey, that, kind of, that, that sounds pretty good. Recon companies I like. Uh, extra tactics usually end up being a pretty good thing for me. I might want to go for the leather armor. It won't take too long and just gives me straight up more defense for survivability. So we're going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to save my uh, political power. We now can go to war with two sons. While we are doing that, let's go ahead and start getting a cast of spelly to use against the county cowboys so we can just jump right into that war as soon as this is done. Uh, you guys are almost done training. Not sure how long I want to wait, really. Um, we can afford to wait a little bit. The Desert Rangers declare war on Jackal. And the Marrow Drinkers on the Bone Dancers. Yeah, a lot of raiders to fight. Here's my plan preparation bonus is going down quite a bit. Alright, this seems reasonable enough to me. Let's just go ahead and take everybody. Send them here. And everyone is assigned to this order. Okay. So your planning bonuses and organization should start going up. We are a little undersupplied right now in terms of infantry equipment. A little bit. And that is a huge problem. But by fighting these guys, we can get some more of those... Um, we can get some more of those factories. Recruit caravan, caravan guards. I don't know what that does. We're going to annex you. I don't have any allies to call in. So let's go ahead and declare the war. Um, let's see... How are we feeling right now? Well, I guess I'll go ahead and just push in a little bit. You guys go ahead and push in here. Might as well. Anything else here looks kind of okay. I mean, we can try to split them a little bit by going toward Tombstone. I'm going to try to get you all the way over here if we can. I mean, if he's not going to protect Tucson, then freaking heck, let's go for it, right? You go there. One of you start working this way. He's not doing anything. If he's going to let me just grab his capital for free... Well, now he wants to stop me. Hang on. Stop the motorized. Don't let them go anywhere. Okay, now we're protected. Um, I mean, how many... It's worth 30 victory points. 5, 5, 20... Okay, so he's not going to capitulate, I don't think, if we just take this right now. How do I do this? I'm trying to think. Because I'm a little bit worried that if I start pushing in this way, we're going to spread our line too thin. What I could actually do, since we're not really worried about... Wait, what did I just do? Is that what I meant to do? No. I want you guys. We can set up a second front line. And let these guys worry. about trying to do the split. Like this. Right? And the rest kind of hold the line for the time being. Um, I'm going to try to reduce this guy's organization. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and back up because I think we're going to lose this and I don't want to get cut off. I cannot hold his capital at the moment. So, let's not do that. Can you guys take him? Seems that way. Can we win in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight? Potentially. Militia training should help a little bit. Uh, we're still ahead of time on this, so I'm not really eager to jump into the next round of weaponry. 
or Spec Ops. I like Recon Companies. Do I want to go for the Doctrine? Supplies could be helpful. Soft Attack and Entrenchment? Yeah. Factory Production also would be good, because right now we are kind of lacking in a few things. I'm going to go for... Wait. Oh, these two are um, exclusive. Oh. So do we want to go for lots of extra factory output? And reduce our efficiency growth. But this gives me extra recruitable population factor. Not by much. Mm. I think I might go for the growth. I guess we don't have to commit ourselves to that decision quite yet. Let's start working on the Doctrine. It's going to be fast. It could be helpful. We'll worry about that later. Can you push against you? Potentially. There's oral instruction done. I mean, remember what that does. All oh, right, the efficiency growth. Okay. Um, I will research the fire company, uh, recon companies because those are helpful. We are at war now, which means can I change to partial mobilization? The answer is yes. Let's do it. Okay. Could have gone for some recruitable uh, population as well. Not worried about it at the moment. Let's get a different person as uh, our general. And let's get you... Um, do you want offensive doctrine? Yes. And also extra... Recovery or reinforce? Recovery rate? Eh, we'll do both. Alright. Let you get in position, get your planning bonus up. You also have some green troops, unfortunately. Once that planning bonus is looking good, though, I think we freaking go. Uh, push here. See if we can get that real quick, and then you can flank him a little bit better, I hope. Let's see. Hiding, fighting over things that don't matter right now. Which probably is not smart. Go ahead and start pushing in a little bit with you. Just a little bit. See how he reacts. I want to know how he's going to react to this. I'm going to have you go this away. Let's tighten up that front line a little here. And here. Like that. <clears throat> Let's see how this works. Um, and one of you go this way and see if we can get some good flanking in. Oh, speaking of flanking, we just got flanked. Okay. He's got motorized, which is part of my problem. Like, I really need to be careful about that. <clears throat> if we don't fight against this, we're going to lose these troops. So, let's see if we can push in here and save these guys, but I'm thinking the answer is no. Okay, so we just lost troops for no good reason. Because I, I got flanked straight up. However, he's also overcommitting some troops. So let's go ahead and tighten up our front line a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to go in here because I feel like that's a trap. Uh, reducing the organization. We're kind of committing a lot of troops just to fight a stupid motorized division. Motorized appear to be pretty good. Can you get into Hilltop? Let's try. See if we can snag that from him. Okay, so that's a bit of extra victory points for us. Also kind of uh, cut down a little bit on his supplies. Let's try swinging around a little bit over here. I'd love to get a surround on these guys. If I had motorized, that would be a lot easier. Obviously, we don't. Um, okay. The thing is, I want to hit the button to say push, but I'm a little worried we're going to get outmaneuvered. Start pushing this way. Start pushing this way. Let's see what happens. Okay. Managed to get that again. Let's flank in on this. Try to finish them off. Wait. He wants to stop me. Can you please go around this way and get a flank? Bit of a risk. Let's try for it. I'll tell you to just go. Okay. Please finish this guy off so we can clear up our front line a little bit. Thank you. And there's the flank. That's fine. Go here. 
You need to extend out your front line because it's a little on the weak side at the moment. This is okay, though. So we've got a flank. You actually sit tight for a second. Um, so you're going to start losing out on supply. That's good. So a small flank there certainly helps. How are we looking for national focus? We have this. All right, let's focus on something new. Do we want the arms workshops, or do you want to continue with civilian workshops? I think we want to go for the arms workshops, because that's kind of my only way of getting them. I mean, we can't build civilian workshops, I know that, but we also can't really build out um, arms workshops either. He is positioning his troops around a little bit. Let's move you forward this way. Okay. Be a little bit careful here. Um, you go over here. Oh, wait. Okay, push. Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna get killed. You start assisting here. Let's push through here. There we go. Alright, not gonna get flanked. Uh, kind of losing out on the flank right now. Makes me sad, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you to start pushing wherever you find some opportunities. Looks like there are a few. Okay. I think we're starting to route them. This could turn into a nice flank right here, if we can get this. So you actually reinforce here instead. There we go. Now reinforce here. Oop, never mind. Okay, go here. Maybe we can get more of a trap, I don't know. There we go. Okay, hang on. Stop him. You guys stop him. And you sit tight. Grenade! Grenade! Nah, not worried about it. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, we're going to start making pushes against these guys. We're going to end up being just fine. Plenty of army experience coming in now. Is there anything I want to do to update the templates? We still don't have anything new. I don't think I even have any tribal militia. We do have some of these guys, and I kind of need to change their icons so I can find them more easily. Let's make them pawns. Because right now, they're a little on the weak side. Okay, so where do I have pawns? I've got pawns over here. So as we start producing some more equipment and stuff... We should start transitioning them to larger troops. Uh, do we want to move toward limited conscription law? I'm going to go with a yes. Not that we absolutely need the manpower this second, but it's certainly going to be good to have the option later, especially since we are currently at war. Can you just push this way and try to get a small flank in on the motorized? Rather than fight the motorized, let's just freaking, like, kill them all or something. I don't know. All right, try that. Recon companies are done. Good. If I can get support equipment, we'll be able to start adding those in. I don't mind getting fire geckos. That requires some manpower, and that's it? It doesn't require any special equipment? Interesting. Interesting. That can't be right. Huh. What's more important to me, though? Um, reinforce rate would be good to start making some progress on that. We're not ahead of time on this anymore. I think I am going to go for the organized farming. Potato farming. Let's try for it. And we got flanked again. Need you guys to kill him and free them up. We are going to get flanked again if you don't stop these guys. Okay, there's the leather armor. So you guys have been flanked. Should be able to finish that off. As long as we don't get cut off right here. Should be able to grab that. You go grab the factories. Uh, Y'all are doing good over here. Um, let's change up your offensive line to also then go down there. Okay. New technology. What should we work on? Still a fair bit ahead of time on some tech. Uh, th there is one problem with not having, like, years telling you what, uh, what tech is ahead of time and stuff, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to know what to go for and what not. Two, go, four. Uh, do you want to research robots just in case? Not yet. Scrap fighters, you know, I'd love to have them, but I don't think I'm going to have the materials yet. I'm going to go ahead and grab the reinforce rate. Because I can see that being useful. Let's go ahead and start applying a little extra pressure to these guys. Foraging is done. We can work on the next doctrine here for the extra soft attack and entrenchment. Should be good. Um, we are going to push out these uh, motorized, which is good. Depending on how fast they recover, I'd like to keep them on the back heel so they don't go anywhere. Flagstaff Fortress is done. Slaves to Flagstaff. Extra monthly population could be nice. 
I'm not worried about getting an extra Cassus Belly at the moment. Because we're still stuck in one war. Do I want to start working towards some more civilian workshops? A lot of them. Wait, this isn't uh, arms factories. This is just civilian. Oh. Dog City is what we want to own for more arms factories. That's interesting. Uh, or should we start working toward the Praetorian Guard? Because I think I'm going to go for Silas as my general. I don't really know what's better, but I think I'm going to go for this. Let's start making progress on our planning. Make us a bit more effective in combat. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see. Siege companies are sitting around doing nothing for some reason. Why don't you go ahead and push back against these guys? Counterattack and all that. Agua Prieta. Maybe you guys can get a quick surround over here. Cutting off those supplies would be nice. Uh, I think these guys are going to get pushed out, which means these guys are going to escape. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's just fine. I'd like to get this surround around two sun. Because that will make things a little bit easier. You delete that. Everyone gets assigned over here instead. Alright. Um, I need you to apply pressure here and stop them from going anywhere. For the moment. You counterattack over here. There we go. And you counterattack over here. Uh, looking fine right now over in that direction. Blue is kind of taking their sweet time going anywhere. Let's see if we can just do a quick cutoff in the nation. I mean, yeah, it kind of creates a lot of uh, difficult front lines to manage, but if it ends up splitting off supply creation and stuff, that's huge. Like, these guys won't get any supplies if I can grab Nagales. Because they won't be able to produce any more supplies in this area, so gradually their uh, organization is going to go down, down, down. You guys go ahead and push this away. Around two sun. You start pushing toward Planta Grupo. And they're going to have no organization left. And I think once we get two sun, that is the end of the war. Alright. Easy enough. Good. Keep applying that pressure. Two sun, of course, is producing some uh, supplies. So they're not going to be completely down. But if we can quickly push all their troops into just one province, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to manage that. Let's go this way and make sure we get a quick surround in on them. Make sure they don't go anywhere. You guys just push, go grab the airfields and so on, since apparently those exist in this world. You guys push here. Nope, you stop him from going anywhere. Pharaohs declare war on somebody. I don't even know who the pharaohs are. All right, no extra supplies for you. Let's make sure you can't go anywhere. NCR declares war on the scorpions. Funsies. All right, everyone just push on Tucson. We should be able to win this one now. That's it. Boom. All right, mine. Take all states and turn done. Thank you. Come again. You need a front line here. And primarily, I want you to split them this away. Blue, I don't think I need you for this one. Uh, so where do I want you to go, really? So I'm a little bit concerned about the NCR taking on Scorpions, because then they might start having borders with me. And they are definitely my main threat. I would love to grab Boulder City and the Hoover Dam, but... Who currently controls this, exactly? The Dam Busters. With not a lot of troops, but it might be a little bit difficult to cross the single straight and get to them. Taking over the Scorpions myself would have been a nice option. Alternatively, take on the Great Khans. But I don't have any war goals for that, so no. I will create a front line against... Um, I guess against these guys for now. Just go back there. Doesn't really matter. It's fine. Alright, let's get our armies in position. We do have a little bit of attrition working against us at the moment. We are trying to repair a bunch of factories. The Praetorian Guard is done. Could go for Meritocracy. Not sure I need the extra leadership slots at the moment. We can go for Taming the City now, though. So gain National Spirit, the Cult of Nas, which gives extra Breakthrough and Motorized uh, Breakthrough. So we get some Motorized Units. Or properly adopt the Cult of Nas. Lose Stability and War Support. 
APC equipment gives extra soft attack and breakthrough. Motorized get extra soft attack and breakthrough. I don't know. Propagate Nos scriptures. Motorized production. So if you really want to get production, like this is this is a sacrifice that will get us there. Am I really going to make use of a lot of motorized? I should, right? That'd be the smart thing to do. Hmm. Or we just take the easy route. Don't lose war, uh, war support and stability. We'll still get some breakthrough. We just lose out on a bit of soft attack and breakthrough and production speed. Also, though, this gives... Wait. This gives a whole bunch of arms workshops. A bunch of them. Oh. All right. I think it's worth uh, losing a bit of stability. It looks like we would get, I think it said, 10 arms workshops? Two in um, five provinces, I think is what it was saying. Which strikes me as rather substantial. So, yeah. How's that planning doing? Looking good. It's getting up there. Also really nicely entrenched. They don't have a lot of troops, so this actually should be a really easy war. I say we just go for it. All right. Push. You guys, just frickin' split them in half. They're not ready at all. Combat language! Because we didn't know how to speak it before. I think now we go for some extra research time reduction. Okay, that's gonna split them in half. Make things real dang easy. Let's go clear out some more of their, um, naval supplies. Puerto Peñesco is gonna be an easy target, I think. There we go. Getting a good surround in on these losers. Uh, let's take one of you over here and grab the air base. Okay. Yeah, these guys were not ready at all. They're just straight up dead. Aw, oh, goodbye, man. Free military factories! Ooh! Alright, what do we still need? Starting to catch up. Could use a bit more in the way of explosives. And a bit more in the way of, um... Basic melee weapons. So we'll start doing that next. Okay, these guys have no supplies, which means their organization is just straight up dying. I'm not even going to push anymore because I don't want to take any losses. Just go this way. Take his capital and he's dead. Improvised obstructions. Okay. So now we can go for wasteland tactics, which allow extra recovery and reinforcement. Or ancient tactics, which seem to encourage the use of militia a little bit. But army in general just becomes better. However, wow. Really? We lose a lot of recruitable population. Really? Hang on. I mean, those are some pretty good stat upgrades. Then we can have extra breakthrough and soft attack. Then we can have more... It's percentage base. It's not going to be that strong unless we actually get some good weapons. Effect of our partisans. Breakthrough. Defense. Combat width. I mean, combat width is really good to change. It is. Really strong. Alternatively, recovery, division attrition, and so on. Recovery rate, reconnaissance. There's the combat width there, too. More breakthrough. Wait. Recovery rate, out of supply, effect of our partisans, soft attack, max speed, heart attack. I think I might like this better. I think. Attrition will certainly help. Save me a lot of losses. We can, however, go for some extra uh, construction speed and stuff, and I think I'm going to go for that first. But yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. And that's the end of that war, too. Alright, take all states. Dunskies. Okay. How are we doing on uh, factories now? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, trying to repair things. I'm going to say repairing is more important than infrastructure at the moment. We only have 12 available for use, really. Which is not that great. Uh, production, we are now up to 40 military factories that I can make use of, so that's good. Logistics, that didn't really cost me much of anything. Can we now go ahead and do some scavenging? No, still missing... pipe guns. Is there a different... Is this, do we need a different type of pipe gun? This says pipe guns. Anti-personnel equipment. 
It appears because I'm still using this for reinforcements, I can't technically build up a stockpile of them yet. Which seems a little bit weird. I think it's weird that you can have melee weapons and you can have ranged weapons both function as infantry equipment at the same time. Like, does it not matter, really? What kind of weapons my troops use? Apparently not. It's a little bizarre. Uh, anyway. We have some manpower coming back, thanks to some of those changes. Trade, we're still looking great on resources. There's not a whole lot else that I need to do here at the moment. We could expel some riffraff, though. And you know what? While we're sitting around and waiting on, um... Sitting around waiting on our uh, next round of wars, I say we go ahead and expel the riffraff to gain, overall, more permanent stability, I think. Let's expel the riffraff. All right, we're going to end this video here, but thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.